a big part in my life was my tennis career, um, where I were this little boy, um, sensitive, insecure boy, was faced in a, with a very competitive world in which he had to compete and push through adversity, persevere, use his willpower, which were all not very, which didn't come really natural to him. Like I was, um, when, when I was in a tennis match and things weren't working well in the beginning, I would just give up, just let go. But I had to learn to push through and persevere and climb the mountain. Those were a couple of lessons that I really needed to learn in my, in my, in my tennis period. Because I've been through a, a depression, I really felt how it was to not know myself, to, to deal with f intense fear and anger and frustration and to walk through that dark night, really feel that. And, um, uh, and then come out of it and, and see that the light is stronger than the darkness. Um, so that was a big transformation period in my early 20s hap that happened. And then obviously my whole business uh, period right now where I feel that everything that has happened in the past has kind of prepared me to share my story now with, with people, with the world, as an author, as a uh, host for workshops, retreats, public speaking. That, that's what I want. That's what keeps me going now. I just want to share what I know uh, and who I am with as many people as possible. Because I feel that, especially in, in, in these times where so much is changing in the world and so much uh, fear and insecurity and, 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 you know, is coming to the surface, that the world needs uh, uh, people who speak from a different energy than that, who speak from an energy of love and of compassion and of, of wisdom sometimes. That's some, even if things look ugly from the outside, this change is maybe needed to break down all structures in the world and be ready for a new home to be built. And then change looks messy in the, in, in the, in the middle. It's true, but it's, it's the same process that ha happens within myself when old habits are being broken down. Sometimes that's a struggle and it's hard and it's messy and it's, but it's needed. It's a transitioning to a new phase. And I think that the world needs the, those people who bring positive messages, messages of hope, yet realistic at the same time. In every conversation, Again, I, I end up in talking about the soul and being part of the divinity, that it's all one. There's no separation between me and it's all, it's all here. Uh, so obviously that's something that is my core message because people are struggling so much with their personality, with, in their personal life. They struggle with the mind, with their emotions being successful, uh, building a life, uh, but they are not even aware of who they really are. And I think if we come to that knowledge of who we really are, and we really feel that in our lives, what I've experienced that I feel so much more powerful and loving because I feel the connection with my soul. And if I ever drain out of energy because of what happens, I know that there is this source that I can plug into and it'll fool me again. And that's so, so powerful. That's so powerful. So I think that's the main message. I want to remember, help people remember who they are. And the way to do that is that to give people more insight in their in the working of their mind, for example, and what is the conscious and the subconscious mind, and how do you, how can you deal with that? How can you deal with emotions in life? Yes, because they are part of our personal experience. So, I also want to share what I've learned about, you know, being in a in a human body, and dealing with emotions and dealing with shit, 
And how do you deal with negativity out there? How do you deal with that just on a, on a, on a practical level? Yes, but the essence is always remember who you are. The I am that I am. Remember that. And, and feel that and help people have that experience of feeling. Because the moment you feel that that's who I am, then everything starts to, sh to change. The energy level starts to change. You start to change. And then the world outside will change for you. Because you have changed. Because you have changed. So I think if you ask me wh what is my core message, then that's that. I want to be myself, tell my story, and help people remember who they are. I think it's important that I just share my truth, but everyone has their own. And it's not about who is right and wrong. It's about what we have seen so far from life what we have learned from life or what we have remembered to already know.